All right, so pretty much got the basic structure of the heat shield done and almost done with the bushing as well. Um, the barrel fits in there perfectly. Uh, the length is just right, so there's the little booster, I mean the barrel guy. But um, yeah, it seems to fit perfectly, so I hope it'll stay that way. And I haven't glued it on the bushing in there yet, as I haven't made the threading on there. So that's all I'm going to try to get to this uh, in this video, sort of. Um, can't really make it make it since uh, running low on super glue, but I'll try to explain how to make it as best as I can. But uh, yeah, so you want to get yourself a cylinder or what have you that you want to put a th threading on, and you want to get uh, whatever gauge wire you have. It's the accessory wires you can buy in you know hobby stores, but. Uh, I recommend larger gauge for anything above half an inch, but it just doesn't really matter. It just depends on what you're trying to achieve. But uh, yeah, so you want to first get that wire straightened out as straight as possible. You know, you can use the pliers or whatever. And then you want to sandpaper the the wire so that uh, you rough enough the surface so the super glue will bind to it much better. And then you just take that cylinder that you want to put a threading on and just wrap it, wrap the wire around as tight as possible. And you want to wrap it about three times. And then just hold it with your finger, hold it down with your finger, and then just adjust the spacing, I guess. And uh, then you just put some super glue on those open spots and make sure it stays there and then you just keep working onto it and after that you would just put super glue on the entire thing and then what I use is a baking soda and just just so it's, it's like a epoxy so you just the baking soda and the super glue will mix and it will just bind it, bind it there so that it won't come off and then you will come back with the sandpaper and then just sandpaper the entire surface so that it's you know nice and flat and then you would want to come back with like a what I use is this little disc thin disc for Dremel if not you can use a folded sandpaper or really thin file and just come back to it and essentially sand down the each grooves or just follow it to make sure uh, the bottom of the grooves even and then you just add more super glue and uh, come back with lower grit and sandpaper or what have you and then just essentially polish the thing and so that's how you make the male part um, to make the female part it's pretty much essentially the same concept except uh, so I'm just gonna use a screw but um, just get one or two layer of paper over it, you know, just glue it and make sure it stays on there. And since it's only one or two layers, uh, you can actually see the where the high points of the threading is. But anyways, so you would want to use the same gauge wire and I kind of messed this one up. I will and just basically do the same thing, except you would want to trace the the threading on the screw or the mill part and then pretty much same thing you know put super glue over it and then you can add more, uh, baking soda in between to make the surface flush and then all you have to do is just you know screw it out oh and you know it's just, it's not gonna come off because if you do it right and you get yourself a counter thread So I'm pretty sure you can't see that, but uh, that's how you get a counter thread with the paper and wire. And 
again, it's not going to be as super reliable as a re uh, factory made ones, but uh, the reason why I like this is because um pretty much get any size I want uh, since only fact factory ones only come with certain sizes. So any size, this one's for like 45. Uh, can't remember what how big it is, but this one's for this uh, grenade fuse. And of course, I'm gonna have uh, this gigantic one for the bushing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And the only thing I can say is, you know, just you know, practice makes better. You know, keep on practicing, you can get pretty much perfect spacing between these things. And then, you know, it's initially, initially you're gonna have problems. But once you keep practicing, you'll get it, and then you should be able to do fine. And that is pretty much it. So, thanks for watching.